Hello and thank you for choosing the Web Refineries video on how to create a post. Let's get started. There are two ways to create new posts. The first way is to log in to your admin panel and click New. When you click New, you'll see the ability to create many new items. In this case, we'll create a new post. The second way is to simply hover over posts within the admin panel and look at Add New Post. We'll go ahead and click that and it'll bring us to a new post page. We're given the option to add a title and to edit in the comment box. I'm going to add our example post as our title. We can then give our post content. I'm going to ensure that the visual option is chosen, which works similarly to Word. I can then say example post and add my content. This is my content, I will say, for my example post. And if I want to make this a header so it looks more clean on the page, I can cl click what's called the kitchen sink. And that's this button right here. See how it says the kitchen sink? So I'll click that. And you can see it gave me some more options to edit my text. I'll highlight example post and I'll choose header 2. You can now see it's a little larger, which makes the the title stand out a little more from the content itself. We can also choose from embolding the text, italicizing, striking through, adding a bulleted list, simply by hitting the return key, clicking the bulleted list, and adding item 1, item 2. And that's how you create a bulleted list. You can also choose to make a numerical ordered list. Put put a uh, put some of the content in block quotes. So I'll say, "This is what it is." And now, I will put that quote inside block quotes. And now it appears as indented as you would see it in a newspaper. We can also choose to uh, left align, center align, or right align our text. If I wanted to, I could add a link here. So if I wanted to say, this is my content example post, I could also say, click here to see more examples. And then I could highlight here, and I could enter in by clicking that little chain, and I can enter in a link here. And I'm going to, just for example's sake, put in just a broken link, but you'll you'll see how it works. And put it in there and now I can see that here is highlighted and that's now a clickable text. Now let's say I was copying text from an alternative source, say another web page and was pasting it in here and they had links that we didn't want to necessarily link. Well, I can very simply click that word or click that linked word and click the break chain or unlink. And now you can see that that link is, has been removed. We can also do a more tag, which when we click the more tag, it separates out all the content below the more tag. And what we're doing now is, if someone was to come to this post, everything below this would be hidden underneath unless you clicked the read more. Then all this stuff from 2C and my, uh, my list would appear. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that just by simply clicking behind it and deleting. Now we go on ahead and remove that. We then have the distraction free writing mode, which just expands our our uh, tool into a full screen window. And we can exit full screen here. We have insert shortcode, uh, which is for advanced users. Shortcodes are used to insert special features within the text itself. Um, and like I said, it is an advanced feature, so we won't go into that today. And then we have the ability to modify uh, the text type. If we want to choose paragraph, address. Address simply gives it the address tag, so that way things like Google um, and iPhones can see that it's an address and, it's, and it will make it clickable. 
uh, pre-formatted is a uh, predefined format. And then you can choose uh, the separating headers. So all the way up from header one, which is the largest, largest, all the way down to the header six. And then we have the ability to underline. We can uh, uh, align full or justify our text so that it uh, fills out the entire text block. We can choose the text color, so we can highlight a single word and give it a special color. There we go. That's a that's quite a pink color. <laughs> and then we can also import plain text. So if you wanted to grab some plain text, um, for instance, if you wanted to import from uh, if you had a Word document but you didn't want all the fancy margins and things like that that Word would import, you could in import it through here and that'll take away all the special stylistic features that Word uh, implements. Um, alternatively, you can do the opposite of that and paste from Word. So if you create a fancy Word document, rather than losing all of the uh, contents that you have in there and, and uh, having everything be re removed or pasted in, in a funky way, you can click this import from Word and actually paste directly from Word into uh, your post and, and keep all the, uh, the nice uh, stylistic things you've done there. Uh, we also have remove formatting. Uh, which, which, uh, if I was to highlight all this and click remove formatting, it would remove all those headers um, and the block quotes and things we already have done. We can insert a custom character. Uh, if we were typing, say, in Spanish, we can insert a custom character from Spanish or Greek, uh, some Greek symbols. You can also choose to indent or outdent. So currently the indent is gray because I'm on a fully indented option. Uh, however, if I was to click uh, indent, I you can see I, it pushes it out there. And I can return it back by outdenting, and now you can see it returns back to its original state. And then we have our undo buttons. So if I wanted to return that, uh, that uh, indent that I had just done, I could hit undo, and I see it returns, and I can I can redo, which would be redoing the deletion. And so I click that, and you can see now it's it's gone back to normal. Uh, finally, yeah, there's a help link where you can uh, view help and view more info uh, about this uh, posting section. And you can see now, we'll inspect the area to the right. So you can choose format. There's specific formatting types. This could be different depending on which, uh, which setup you currently have. Uh, we have format such as standard, aside, gallery, image. But you could also have a drop down here that has something that might say single page, multi page, contact us style. Um, this is the style of the actual post itself and what it'll look like uh, when we publish it. We then have the ability to add categories. Categories are important because it's how you organize your posts. So if a user comes to the website and wants to see uh, specifically how they can, um, say, modify their iPhone, um, and you have a plethora of iPhone categories attached to it, they can simply sort by the category of iPhone. Um, so it's really important to add a category. And you simply do that by clicking the Add New Category link. And I will say Example Post Category. Uh, post category and then you click add new post uh, you can also make it a parent post so let's say if I had uh, iPhone as a category I could then add uh, iPhone repairs add the word repairs and make the parent uh, iPhone so if somebody searches for iPhone they'll also see repairs um, as as one of their categories but I'm going to go ahead and leave a uh, parent category unselected. I'm going to click add new and you can see it automatically adds that to our categories table with the checkbox and now this category will be used in any posts uh, that we want to. It'll appear just like uncategorized automatically and we can choose to check it or uncheck it. The last two boxes we have tags. Tags is very similar to categories except now we're going to add uh, say maintaining our example of the iPhone post. Uh, we could say we're doing iPhone, we are doing uh, repairs, we will do iOS 7, uh, we will do anything that is relevant and mentioned within our post. Uh, and the purpose of this is so that Google and users can find these posts and the topics within the posts more clearly. Uh, so it, the categories are strictly meant for organizational Tags are meant to be informational. So I'm going to click Add. 
and you can see when I added these, I, I separated each one by a comma. That is how it knows that it's two different words um, or separated out. That is how I was able to do iOS space 7 uh, because it was separated by a comma uh, between repairs and iOS 7. The last and final feature uh, on this right column here is add a featured image. <clears throat> so adding a feature image, you simply click this and you have two options. You can choose to uh, choose an image from your media library. Currently I do not have any images in this media library. Um, or you can select a file. So I can click select a file, choose the image itself, and import that image and then set as featured image. And a featured image is going to appear at the very top of my um, my actual post itself. Um, it's also if somebody was to link this post to Facebook um, and it looks all pretty there with a description and, a, and an image, that featured image is what will appear there. So I also have an add media button up here on the left um, and if I wanted to add media I could select anywhere inside of my post that I'd like and I could add media. Again it works the exact same way. You can upload you can upload files or you can choose from a media library and that'll insert it directly within the post. So if you wanted to have uh, pictures within your post. And then the final area before we uh, finish up our video, we can choose to save this as a draft and return to it later. Um, we can also choose to select and change the status completely pending review. This is if uh, you're working with somebody who is an administrator and you are merely a contributor or an author, you can set it for pending review and uh, said user will review it and publish it if they like. We then have preview, um, which will allow us to actually select and we can preview the changes we've made. There you are. And then we also have visibility. Visibility gives us the ability to set the, uh, the post as public password protected or private. Password protected, if somebody lands on this post, um, they are asked to enter a password. Private, uh, simply nobody can view it unless they have administrator rights. So we'll keep that as public. And then we have publish. We can actually set the publishing date to a future date. So we have uh, March, currently March 20th set, uh, but we could also choose uh, later on in, into the future. And when that date arrives, the date and time, uh, It'll, it'll be posted automatically for us. So a little bit of peace of mind there. Let's go ahead and close. And then finally we can choose Publish. And Publish will launch this post for all to see. Thank you very much and have a great day.